Okay, in this video, I'm going to review the 1D motion material for a coming test. This just goes over the basics. You can still review everything. Um, the term scalar has no direction. It's only a magnitude without the direction. Two parts of a vector are going to be the magnitude, like a scalar, but then you're also going to have a direction. An example of a scalar quantity would be 5 meters, if you're talking about distance, or 5 meters per second, if you're talking about speed. This alone, this alone, this is the magnitude, which includes a number and a unit. So this is magnitude. Number, unit. Okay, example of a, a vector quantity would be like 5 meters, say north. It's going to have, the, and this would be a displacement. Um, another example would be uh, 5 meters per second north. And this would be a velocity. An acceleration, 5 meters per second squared north, would be changing in a northward direction. That would also be a, a vector. Okay, what are the units of for velocity? That's going to be meters per second. The units for acceleration are going to be meters per second squared. And then if you ever see the term rest, that means the velocity at that moment is zero. And if it started from rest, it might be VI zero. If it finished at rest, then the VF could be zero. And once again, meters per second. If you ever hear instantaneous speed, you're talking about speed right at that moment. Uh, while you're driving, what shows you your instantaneous speed? If you're driving and you're looking at the speedometer, it's telling you what you're going at that moment. When you're stopped at the stoplight, it tells you zero. Okay, and then let's go look at some problems and look at when we are going to use constant the constant velocity equations, or we're going to use accelerated motion equations. And here you have a speed of 120 meters per second, a distance of 2400 meters, and it's asking you for how long will this trip take. So therefore it's going to ask you for a time. So you have a velocity equals 120 meters per second, x equals 2400 meters, and we have t that we're solving for. So that leads us, we have v, x, and t. v, x, and t, that leads us to this equation. v equals x over t. And then when you plug in the numbers, 120 equals 24,000 over t. t is in the denominator, so you're going to actually have to multiply it out. t, t, oh, not that. Let's get rid of that. That stays there. So this would be, we'll get rid of t. And now we have this 120 we don't want. We're going to go ahead and divide out the 120. That gets rid of the 120. So t ends up equaling 24,000 divided by 120. And 24,000 divided by 120 equals, it's going to be 200 seconds. Okay, next problem. Man travels from, from work to home, and this time, if the distance between the two cities is this, what's the average speed? So once again, average speeds, it doesn't matter if he's accelerating, decelerating, stopping, all that matters is that you have a time and you have a displacement, which in here we do. And we have a displacement of 8750. And we're just going to solve for the average speed. And we go straight to this equation. We have the three variables right here. And so V equals X over T. I'll write down the equation and I'll start plugging in the numbers. Um, v equals, this is a nice one because it's all set up for you. 
And you do the math. 8750 divided by 3600 ends up being 2.43 meters per second. Don't forget the unit. And that's our final answer. Okay, the next one. If a car is traveling north with a velocity of 25 meters per second, it increases its velocity. So it starts at 25, it's increasing the velocity to this, 32 meters per second. It takes five seconds, and the question is asking you for the acceleration. Okay, so VI it starts at 25 meters per second. It gets to a final velocity of 32 meters per second. The time it takes is five seconds, and the question is, what is the acceleration? So we look over here, it is an acceleration. It's not going to be these because it has, it has VIs and VFs. Um, and I look at this, and this one's nice because it's the first one I see. I have a VI here. I have a VF here. I have an A here. I have a T there. So we check off all these. Once again, make sure you have the unknown. This is important because without the unknown, I can't pick up the equation. And then you have your equation that you're going to use. VF equals VI plus AT. And therefore, it's going to be 32 equals 25 plus A times 5. We have to get rid of the 25 first because it's added. We need to get anything rid of added, anything added or subtracted before we deal with this 5 times. So minus 25. That's going to end up being 7 over here. And then now we have 5A. And now we can finally get rid of that by dividing out 5. And A ends up equaling 7 over 5 which is 1.4 meters per second squared. And there's your final answer. Okay, next problem. What's the acceleration of a car that maintains a constant velocity of 300 meters for 30 seconds? Okay, you're going, what's the acceleration, uh, constant velocity of this for 30 seconds? And some of you already figured out this is kind of a trick question, but let's pretend like I didn't figure it out. A equals question mark. Okay, um, the term constant velocity means A equals zero. Um, you were traveling at a constant velocity. That would mean that it's just a V and not VI and VF. So there's a lot of things giving this away right now. And the time equals 30 seconds. So once again, constant velocity means acceleration equals zero. At that point, I have my answer. I don't have to do any work. So no, no formula, no work required. 